what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go through the driving features. So that's gonna be your acceleration. You have the options of uh, chill mode or standard mode. There's three different steering modes as well. Uh, there's comfort, there's standard, and then there's sport. We also have the regenerative braking. I always use standard on that. And then you also have the three different stopping modes, right? You have creep, roll, and then hold mode, which is basically one-footed driving. And then that's, that's all we're gonna go through today. I have the acceleration, which will throw you back. Now watch, watch this, it's chill mode acceleration. <laughs> I mean, it's like a gradual increase so that you have the power if you kind of need it, but it's, it's a very gradual increase compared to standard that I have it in right now, and it will, it literally throws your head back. I mean, you gotta really hold on to it and not let it do that. Actually, we're gonna get right here. Definitely feeling the feedback. Okay, see how it feels going around these curves. Yeah, it feels feels sporty compared to the comfort mode. Um, okay, it's got a good bit of uh, pressure. A good bit of pressure added to you there. Feels good. Standard mode uh, feels strong. Now we're going to go to sport steering. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but we will. Yeah, you, so this is what I drive in all the time, so I'm used to it, but you get every feedback. When you're going over these little bumps and everything, you feel it more um, in the concrete. You feel you feel how the wheels feel on the ground when you're going around the curve a little stronger and just little mo little tiny motions in the steering wheel make a big jerk almost yeah it just feels like you're more in tune with the car i guess you'd say and what it's doing how it's handling the curves you feel like you want to go faster i think Dear that thing, see like that, you can just feel every little bump. I mean, you're just getting more of the feeling from the bumps as you're going around the curves. You feel more of maybe how it would feel if you're losing traction. You, you would know it a little quicker. All right, now we're gonna do the same loop again, but with the comfort steering. Instantly, it instantly lets up on my hand. I, I was slightly going around a curve, and it's like it just instantly reduced the amount of load that I was having to put on my arm. You barely have to put any effort to get it to go around these sharp turns. We'll see how it feels going around these curves. I mean, I think I kind of like comfort better on a, on a daily basis. An autopilot a lot because I felt like my arms would get tired easier, hold the steering. Um, when you push down the, when you have a lot of regenerative braking and you're pushing down the pedal, you feel like more load from the pedal, and so it kind of wear on you when you're driving manual. Now, when you use an autopilot, pilot, obviously, um, you're not doing anything but kind of paying attention to what the car's doing. Um, I think out of the three modes, believe it or not, somebody that's always driven in sport mode and didn't even want to try the other ones, think. I think I like the comfort mode better. It is literally way more comfortable. It feels like a luxury car. It feels like how a, if you've ever driven a full-size pickup, a new full-size pickup these days, the steering in those things are so, is so smooth and soft. That's how it feels. All right, so that's all the steering modes. Now we're gonna keep it on comfort mode. So, creep, I have to use the brake when I come to a stop. Roll is the opposite. Um, I got my foot off the brake. I'm just sitting here. I'm actually rolling. So if I go forward a little bit, it will just let it roll like it's in neutral. 
it, it, all the different stopping modes is basically what happens when you stop. So I, I came to a stop, and I'm just rolling. It doesn't apply any brakes. Um, once you get below like five miles per hour, the regenerative braking doesn't actually work any longer. And so the regenerative braking is on right now, but now I'm just rolling. Standard regenerative braking with creep mode, which means when I lay off the pet, when I lay off the brakes, I start creeping forward. Just like you would in a regular gasoline vehicle. You almost come, it almost pulls you in your seat forward. The thing about regenerative braking, when you have standard versus low, you're actually, you're getting more of your lost energy from the brakes. And it's going actually back to the battery. So you will get longer range with that. First right turn sign, I'm going to um, let off the brakes and we're going to see how far we go with respect to the next sign. I'm at 40 letting off right at that sign. I don't even know if I'll make it to this next sign. If I get down to five, yep, five miles per hour. The distance between those two signs is how long it took, basically, to come from 40 to five miles per hour, which is where the regenerative braking, I believe it's where the regenerative braking stops working. We're gonna go to creep mode, which is what everybody uses, okay? I have low regenerative braking. So I'm letting off the gas and it's not slowing me down that much. Still not rolling quite like a gasoline vehicle would roll. You let off the gas on, a, on one of those, they, they can coast for a very long time. Um, but for example, I gotta actually use my brakes here and I gotta use them fairly heavily which I'm not used to at all. I'm used to not just doing one one foot driving with high regenerative braking. All right. I will say that the car feels more like a gasoline car when you do this. Comfort steering, I probably would put it on chill mode and, and, and regenerative braking. So low regenerative, you know, let off the gas, it's not slowing down a lot at all. Um, we're at 40. Hold it there. Let's see. Letting off now. I got about 28 miles per hour by the time I got to the sun. So, difference between 5 miles per hour and that. So, I went about twice the distance, I would say. So, with low regenerative braking, you go twice as far uh, when you let out the gas at 40 miles per hour, at least. I don't know if that would be the case. All right, we're going to, um, so we saw how the, re how the roll does. Now I will show how the hold does. Hold, low regenerative braking. Now, um, hold mode, though, what hold mode is, I don't know if you noticed or not, I went all the way to 2 miles per hour there. And it's going to bring me to a complete stop. It starts applying brakes slightly at five miles per hour. This this comfort steering is uh, it's nice, honestly. So we're going to go standard and standard regenerative braking. I'm keeping it on comfort mode. I think I like that steering feeling a little better. It feels much more luxury. Go. And we're gone. <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time, people. Favorite acceleration mode? Standard. I want to go fast, guys. Steering mode. Again. I think comfort mode. I think I like that the best. I'm going to ride around with that for a little while, I think, uh, for a couple weeks. And then I'm going to switch back to sport mode. And we'll see what I think then. Regenerative braking, yeah, I'm gonna keep that on standard. I like the feeling of the low and everything, but I want the rain. Stopping mode, um, I'm gonna keep using hold mode. I've gotten, I've gotten so used to one foot driving. I never use my left foot. Um, I hope this was a little informational. 
please leave a like and a subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything. It just lets you know when I put new videos. Hit the notification button and it will send you notifications through email. And then leave a like, a thumbs up. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.